everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today in The Sims 4, we're building basically a whole block for a cult, I guess. So basically a cult residence. So obviously we have our mermaid, um, which I guess, I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to share my opinions on that right now. We have an alien, we have the spellcasters, the vampires, the werewolves. Um, and also I decided why not a plant sim as well and obviously a ghost. Um, so obviously a plant sim is more of like not an occult. They're basically temporary, but I don't know. I love them. Um, maybe this will give the sims a reason to maybe make the plant sims a little bit better. Um, cause I don't know. They, I just, I don't wish, I wish they weren't temporary. And I also wish like we could change the hair color or not the hair color, but the hair because you get stuck with the hair choice, which is weird. So I wish they would make them better. And obviously, honestly, I don't know. I don't know how better they could make them if it was just base game, but it would be nice since they are a base game thing. Like it would be weird to make a, I guess ghosts were a base game thing, but like, I guess if they were to make a pack, I don't know, I guess, I feel like it could be a stuff pack, honestly. Um, obviously, I haven't really thought this out, so in my head, it could be a stuff pack, but maybe you could think of something bigger. Um, and yeah, I just, I also don't really see ghosts as an occult, but I guess they are. They do have that little nice skill tree, so that is very nice. Still haven't played with that yet, so that is rough, but we kind of hop around in the beginning since I'm just trying to, like, figure out where each occult lives, I'm trying to figure out the vibes and etc. Um, I don't know, I feel like I could definitely maybe do better. I don't know if this is my favorite thing, and also I will say the vampire's home is not my favorite, so I did cut it out. I just didn't like it, I felt like it was kind of out of my comfort zone because, I don't know, if you've seen my channel, I probably never built a vampire house. Same with werewolves, but I feel like you can't mess up a werewolf house because like it's kind of ran down you know so I feel like I yeah I I kind I really actually love the werewolf home I guess obviously it is very small on these houses because that was kind of the whole point but I do like the idea of maybe actually building an occult home on like this big lot so like basically well no i don't think that's possible it can't be that big well no maybe if i do like the main occults which i feel like are spellcasters vampires and werewolves and i guess ghosts as well may as well just throw that in there unless they want to give me fairies if i or when i decide to do it because yeah, I don't think there's like a lot big enough if I wanted to include all seven of these. Um, I guess I could take out the plant sim because that would be too much, but then that would be six. Like, could a 64 by 64 fit a house? I guess it depends on how big I make it, but I don't know. Um, but yeah, um, anyways, I really, I definitely started out with the werewolf home because I was the most excited for that. So like I put like this cage in front of them. So like maybe if they're having like a rampage, you could probably lock them in there. I also end up moving the werewolf house to the edge. And some of them have backyards or side yards. So the werewolf has like a side yard and some of them don't. So I don't think I gave like the go well no i did okay i gave okay maybe one of them don't have a backyard oh actually the vampire is the only one who doesn't have a backyard so that is very sad for them but i didn't know what i would put in there and i also just don't think i like vampires i never played with them i think at one point um i was like making these videos or not videos i think i only made like two of like playing with the mermaid and also playing with the spellcaster i think that was like when i was making videos on my ps4 so like maybe they're kind of like outdated and not that good because <laughs> like i didn't have like a graphics card so like the quality of the video was like not that good like things were kind of it wasn't bad like it wasn't the worst but it wasn't clear 
so I could retry that but honestly if I were to play with vampires I don't think I would have a good time honestly I don't know if I like them but again I never played with them but also I just don't think they're the best occult like I feel like werewolves were pretty well made as well as spells are spellcasters because like they have like so many powers that they're basically cheats and honestly that would be very useful if you have like a huge family like delicioso you can just summon food that is amazing everyone wants that like reperio scrubberoo like it's honestly that is nice but yeah again we're just jumping around because i'm trying to figure out like the front of each area i feel like also the roof is pretty weird but yeah, this is a long video. Like for me right now it's 48 minutes and like I haven't done like a long voice recording in so long. So like this is gonna be so hard. Um, but I just, I'm not looking forward to talking. Like, I don't know. It's just like most of it is like, I don't know what to talk about. I don't have that much interesting stuff to say, I suppose. But I guess I will mention here that I did make a forum um, I guess on the, well, no, I made a form, I don't know. On the forums, basically, I made a post in the feedback section to, like, suggest better categories for the build and buy because, like, obviously, if you build, you know that it's just, it, it could be a better way to categorize things because it is so messy. Like, the clutter section is a mess like and then like some things show up that is supposed to be like in the kitchen but like it shows up under like the miscellaneous decorations and it's like that could easily be in the clutter section um and then like there's this math book or something from discover university it's in the sculptures category that doesn't make any sense it's not a sculpture it's a book but it's a clutter book it's a fake book you can't like read it or anything but like I don't understand why it's in there and it's just I wish they would do better um so I basically um requested like sub genres and if you take a look at the um forum someone actually replied to me and they had a way better concept of this than I did so basically instead of like on the side it would be at the top so like if you are aware of like the styled rooms um section I guess you know there would be like a top of sub genres of like bedrooms kitchen because like their rooms basically um but yeah their idea was that that was their concept it looks so much better than mine obviously because again i'm no concept artist i was just messing around in canva um telling you my idea but yeah theirs looks so good and i want it so badly like i need it so bad i need like a i just need it okay especially the painting areas like there's so much things they could do to make building more efficient. Um, obviously adding like a favorite section would be good, but you still need to add the subgenres, you know, like better categories because you can't add everything to favorites. Like I use a lot of things all the time, obviously. So having like favorites would be good. So that way I can easily get to it. So like I use like the candle from the bathroom clutter kit a lot. I use the plant from the greenhouse haven kit a lot and yeah so yeah anyways I don't know so I'm just still working on the exterior I know it's a lot um but I guess I should tell you my favorite ones so you can like watch me build them so I really like the werewolves one I honestly I don't think I ever like lived in like a run down type of bad place for my sims because I don't know I kind of love to go all the way out so I do like it I just don't think I would live there because I don't think my sims would live there um because that's just I don't usually play like that but it's fine and then I guess I would say my second favorite I really enjoyed building the alien one but I think I might say the mermaid one is my favorite I really love the color scheme um, it's really good in there. Um, the Spellcaster one, I don't know. It's it's okay. I guess maybe it is good. I don't know. I can't rank them. I think those are my top two. And then my least favorite ones are the Plant Sim one and the Vampire one. I do leave the Plant Sim one in. But yeah, I don't think I like it, to be honest. It's just not my favorite. But I do still love the idea of 
playing with the plant sim. I actually have a whole video of playing with them with a mod from Seriously Sims and she actually updated it to be like a little bit better so like if you have a baby with the plant sim or something there's like a 50% there's a 50% chance they'll be born a plant sim and I think that is just so cool. Um, amazing beautiful mod I love it I still wish you know they were better in game um, that's just my opinion but yeah it was so fun and actually at the moment I am playing my career legacy challenge with school and with making videos and stuff it's so hard to play my game but like this is the last thing I have to edit and schedule for this upcoming week so at least the upcoming week for me this is kind of getting posted on Friday but anyways but yeah, like, um, yeah, I just, I haven't been playing my game a lot. Because, well, obviously I've been building mainly, just not the gameplay that I guess I want to play. Because I have, like, my own gameplay saves that I don't share on YouTube. I do post them on Twitter usually, so I don't know about Twitter. Honestly, I'm trying to move to Blue Sky, but, like, um, I plan to move to Blue Sky. So, like, the gameplay photos I do have... I don't think I'll post them on Twitter until I'm ready. I, well, no, I won't post them on Twitter anymore because I want to move to Blue Sky because, I don't know, it feels definitely better. Like, it's such a better vibe over there. Um, I just, I don't really like Twitter. It's just, like, you're seeing a bunch of tweets you don't really want to see. Um, it's just, it feels like a negative place over there. I think Blue Sky can be better. Um, I'm just waiting for them to give us like a schedule button because I need to schedule it or else I'll forget. Not to mention like you can't save anything to the draft so like that's also a bad thing so like I just can't post over there until then. But yeah if you want to follow me on Blue Sky my at is just Sims Delicious. Um, that's my at everywhere and yeah. Anyways I was talking about my own gameplay saves but like yeah I just don't have a chance to play that much so, um, because of school and everything. Um, but yes, so hopefully I get to play tonight and tomorrow. But yeah, um, my, I don't know, like they're still children. I have a toddler in my career legacy save. I also have an infant and my thought process was like generation two would be a plant sim. So somehow she has to have a plant sim baby. So I was thinking that maybe her friend, um, I don't know, like maybe her friend asked to have like a science baby with her. So that way, I don't know, that's how it works. And hopefully it's actually a plant sim. I might cheat it if it's like a human. Because again, with the mod, you can like have genetic, genetically a plant sim if you basically have a 50% chance of it being a plant sim or not. But yeah, um, anyways, so... Yeah, I have a long way to go before I actually play with the plant sim, so I'm looking forward to it, but it is so far away. And I also don't know if I'll play with that save tonight. It just depends on how I feel. Um, like, I have so many gameplay saves. I don't know if I should list them out. Okay, maybe I should. I will, but it's a lot. Like, I don't know how I'm expecting to finish these challenges if I have so many, but like, I have the sims and bloom challenge not so berry career legacy challenge and then i have my abc legacy challenge which i am playing on here as well as the blackout bingo challenge i just added in life and death um playthrough so that's six so far and then i have a super sim challenge so so far that is seven i hope i'm not missing anything oh no i have eight i have a short legacy challenge as well so that is just a lot um yeah that's a lot it just depends on how i feel um i'm not sure how i'm feeling yet because i'm very indecisive i feel like when you have a bunch of options to choose from it's like very overwhelming um and i also feel like sometimes just playing in the same save over and over is like I kind of get bored so it's kind of a good thing that I have a choice but yeah the werewolf side wasn't too bad um it was pretty simple now we're just doing like the side part um this took me forever to build um it basically took me six hours I know that's insane honestly looking at it that is crazy I think it's crazy 
that it took me that long. Well, no, it is like, it's basically furnishing six, or no, seven homes. So, yikes, that is rough. But I kind of do make their yard bigger at the end because I was like, why not? Everything is like so squished in. So that is awful. Um, I gave them like their bonfire thingy. I gave them some planter boxes. I was trying to use like that grassy dirt and I just didn't like it. Um, I gave them a bush and a telescope, all that good stuff. And yeah, um, this week, honestly, it's been like a lot of editing. Well, actually I take that back. This day has been like a lot of editing actually, just because like I kind of made like a lot of talking videos. So like, um, obviously the kits, the creator kits came out on Thursday last week. Um, so I decided to do like a little apartment let's build that I posted on Sunday, um, this past Sunday. So yeah, I had to edit that in a hurry. Not too bad. It actually didn't take that long because it was just like an apartment build. So that one wasn't too bad. But then I had my life in my life in death part one. Um, so that's like a, um, obviously a gameplay video, talking video. Those usually take a while. Voiceovers are not so bad. Um, and then I had like my big sister's apartment build. That was a Les build. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know. I miss, I love my Les builds. So obviously that's what I was thinking of. Um, and then I have my ABC Legacy Challenge. So there's that. Um, and also I did a voiceover for my home for 8 Sims. So yeah, anyway. So like the only video that doesn't have talking over it is the video that I'm going to be posting tomorrow, which is like a life and death starter home. And yeah, I kind of wanted to talk over that one, but I was like, it's so unnecessary. I can kind of like make it my editing a little bit short, but we moved on to like the um, spellcaster side and I kind of did want each part of this build to be a little bit different. So it is a little bit different, I guess. Um, and I went for like this orangey wood tone because I don't usually use that wood tone. Um, at least for the bed, it's like this orangish, orangish color. I don't think the floor is too bad. It has like those purple swirly thingies. I think that's cute. Um, I guess I decided to shrink the bathroom as well because I was like, I need more space. Um, that is very necessary. But I will say like this video being 80 or 48 minutes long. Oh my gosh. Um, I don't know if I want to really watch the full thing back to make sure obviously nothing or I guess my pauses don't get put in obviously that's important but obviously I like to check over my voiceovers because I mean they're just a voiceover it's that simple whereas if I'm doing like a let's build or a let's play I'll edit it but I won't watch it again because it, I edit it you know I like actually went through it I don't know but this talking video like yeah, it's just, it's different. And I gave them a backyard. I put their little, um, what do you call that thingy? Um, the cooker. I don't know. You can make mac and cheese in it. The potion thingy. Um, I don't know what it's called. Oh my gosh, that's so embarrassing. I, I, I don't know. I don't play with spellcasters. So what do you expect? Um, I also gave them like the crystal tree. I don't know why, but I thought that was fun. I didn't, I couldn't fit the gemology table. So that was kind of like out of the question. And also I want to post shorts and TikToks so bad, so bad, no, so bad. But I also feel like one, growing on TikTok seems a little hard to me. I don't know. Like I, it feels a little hard to me. I don't know. I feel like my shorts do a lot better on YouTube, but yeah, I would love to make more of them, but it's just like, um, it's a lot. It's not a lot. I actually enjoy making them, but sometimes it's like, I don't, I kind of struggle on like to know what I should make, to be honest. Like I'm very unsure of like what I should do and like if I'm in the mood to like make that kind of short, but I don't know. It's simple, but I guess, I don't know. I'm not really up for it, I guess. Um, and actually yesterday I did have a meeting to like schedule my classes for spring 2025 and it seems like I don't get the summer off. Um, 
I don't I don't think the classes like are all the way through to summer but like he was already talking about like the summer classes he was just like getting them ready and um yeah so like basically I guess I have like December off um so that's good I guess um I was hoping for the summer off but it's fine I only go to school for like t or I guess I go to Anyways, it's a two-year school, so it's not too bad. Better than four years. And I decided to stick to web page production. I will say I hate it so much. It's like so much. It's a lot of work. I know that's bad, but like it's it's a lot. It's very tedious, I feel. Um, but I will fight through it. It will be fine. Um, I don't think actually I don't have like a algebra class or math class next semester so I'm looking forward to that um one thing they did say is like I might oh actually no I don't think I have a speech class or an English class but that's what I do have to I do have to take a speech class eventually and I'm not looking forward to that um I'm good the only thing is I kind of like registered a little too late um this time so like a lot of the classes are on zoom I think or I don't know if it's like on, I, I think it's probably on Zoom. Um, but basically it's at a scheduled time. So now I can do my work freely, but then, but this time it won't be freely. It has to be like at a certain time. So I assume they probably have you sign in on Zoom. Hopefully none of the classes are like, oh, you have to have your camera because I don't just please early in the morning please I don't know please I don't want that like I can learn without the camera I hope they're not like turn your camera on hopefully not I feel like they wouldn't be like that so hopefully but obviously all teachers are different um but yeah I love the spellcasters house it's okay it's not my favorite I love the purple I feel like we need more good purple swatches in this game because like they're all different and it's so stupid like oh my gosh I hate it so much um but I did give them like some brooms so they can fly on them I guess so that was cute that was lovely um hopefully we will be wrapping this up pretty soon um I'm just trying to figure out the wallpaper um it was a little bland on the other side which I kind of didn't like but it is what it is it's fine right I put like a little chalkboard I got some pans I may have or maybe not I don't know I feel like I put something on top of the fridge but maybe that's the alien's side I just put like one thing on the fridge for the alien but yeah, I guess that's cool. I don't know. It, I kind of, I'm kind of at the point where I'm like, what else do I say? What else do I talk about? But honestly, it's been 22 minutes and I've been going pretty well. Like honestly, I was kind of struggling with the video from yesterday and that was shorter. So I would say I'm doing pretty well for myself. Um... But yeah, I tried to do like an accent wall because I was like, we need to break this wall up somehow. They have a trash can and then over here, I don't know what I put. Um, oh, I put keys. I don't know. They they have keys for the spell thingy, the realm of magic place. The, I don't, the thing you, I don't know what it's called, honestly. Um, the, the place you get to from the portal. Um, is there like a specific name? I don't know, but I think that's pretty cool. I remember when like the, we heard about life and death coming out, and we were and we were all hoping for like a secret world for like all the ghosts. Yeah, that did not happen. <laughs> but honestly, I still think the pack is so good. But honestly, I wish they would bring back worlds like that because I think that's kind of cool. Um, like going to the realm of magic place. I guess I don't know what to call it. I don't know what to call it, but um. It's, it's cool, even though it's very easy to get to. I think it's very cool. Um, so I wish they would do that again. I don't know. I still think it would have been cool for the ghost to have, like, a secret place, you know? But they don't. So I guess that is fine. Um, anyways, I don't know. I feel like part of me, I just have so many build ideas. And some of them are, like, kind of big. Um, so like I'm kind of thinking of this rec center with everything like every single activity every single thing that could be useful for you 
I want to build but obviously that would have to be like on a big lot and it's just it would be so big like it would lag your game I probably shouldn't think about that anymore because like it's a good idea but would it be very useful I don't know but I'm kind of thinking of it I kind of want to but then like other builds like that I was thinking of like um I don't know if I should build what do you call the place from Real of Magic basically when you go through the portal in front there's a building I was thinking of like oh what if I could rebuild that but I feel like I probably should play with spellcasters first um before I built that but then all of but then again I'm like I don't really build in that world so I don't know if I would make a good a good building but it doesn't hurt to try right um so I guess I could attempt it and then I was kind of thinking like oh maybe I can make another high school and the reason is because the one I made early this year has a lot of packs and I did say I would make a more useful one which is just like base game and high school years and I would probably make it smaller without all the unnecessary activities um because I don't know like the idea of having all that stuff is fun but you can't like host a club gathering so it's just pretend. I don't think I want to put like a full room of easels if you're going to be the only one using it. Um, so yeah, so I'll probably just have like two classrooms. But then I want to build another school where maybe I could have... Okay, that's crazy. I was going to say like four classes because if you put the whiteboard four times, you can like kind of switch what class it is. Um, if you have more than two and I was like oh maybe I could do like a class for each subject but I feel like well I say four and I was thinking like reading um history um math science and that's pretty much it but we don't really have a lot of objects to like decorate those separate rooms with so honestly maybe that's not for the best or maybe it's for the best that I don't do that I suppose but yeah we we're working on the alien side I gave them like the very expensive appliances I used a lot of the get to work stuff of course so in my head I was like oh what if they're a doctor a scientist and a detective like what if they're all three and there's that weird thingy that is next to the bed um I put a skeleton and a heart in there I don't know I don't know what they're exper I don't know what they're experimenting with but yeah, that's a little creepy. And then like the sink is on the outside. I do love the bathroom and how like it's open basically. And there's only two tiles because again, I was trying to make each of these places very different. And honestly, having like the two by three bathroom, it takes up so much space. So I didn't want to use all that space. And then I had collectibles in there that I put above the bed because I thought that was nice. So you can get those from um, Sixum. Um, and there's only six of them. So honestly, it's very easy to complete the collection. And then from Debug, I got all this cool scientist stuff. So I got the portal. I got the satellite. And then I also got the UFO and I raised it up. And then there's these like cool little light thingies from realm of magic and i don't know i thought that was pretty cool so like i don't know what could be coming out of them or going into them but i thought that was very nice so that's what i did um and yeah i think it's pretty cool um just moving them into place and yeah i don't know i think getting abducted by aliens are is pretty cool and the chance of your sim getting pregnant is also cool to me i don't know i just like the chance of you accidentally having an alien baby um obviously if you only have a base game and you're a vanilla player only male sims can get pregnant from the aliens um, that is very unfortunate because I remember being on console and being very upset that that was the case because I don't really play with masculine sims so I would never experience that so that was kind of sad um, but if you do have um, a PC and you want to get a mod you could get MC command center and there's a way to turn it on so all your sims can get pregnant from alien abduction. There could be like a smaller mod because if you don't want that big mod from MC Command Center, there could be a smaller one. Um, MC um, 
MCC lets you do anything pretty much. It, it lets you do a lot of things. So like there's an add-on where you could like have Risky Woohoo. Um, without that add-on, I think you could probably like, I don't know, like go to create a sim, I guess, without, or change your sim's outfit without having them do the animation. You could like auto pay your bills maybe. I'm pretty sure there's a cheat for that also that you can just type into the game. Um, but there's a lot of stuff. I'm not here to talk about that though because I can't think of it. Um, but that's a lot. Anyways, I'm finishing up the aliens outside space. At the end, I actually get those LED lights from high school years to like wrap the um, the platform, I guess, because I thought that was pretty nice. And right now I'm just coloring the ceiling because I didn't want to forget at the end. I feel like at the end it's like, okay, the build is finally almost over. I don't know why I feel like that, but I feel like that's kind of understandable, especially for a build that is this big. Um, also, I feel like I was talking about my career legacy challenge. I don't even know if I finished the point of me saying that. So that is a little embarrassing, but I went for like this blue color scheme and I mixed in some wood tones. So we have like the light wood tone and then the dark blue tone because I thought that was cute. But the whole point of me bringing up my career legacy challenge was like, obviously I want to play with the plant sim for the second generation. And I feel like for them, I would probably make a better plant sim house. Um, but this one is just small, okay? It's not my favorite, but I think I could do better. Um, obviously, honestly, I don't think it would have to be enclosed either because I don't know, like they get their energy from like the sunlight. Um, so basically they have a need for sunlight. Um, and then another need is like um, thirst. So they don't really need to like use the bathroom because um, I think that's like replaced with thirst. Um, I, I think, and then they also don't need to eat because they just need the sun. And I also did this cool trick. So I use like the dream home decorator shelves to put in between the counters because I wanted the stove and the um, oven to be in the middle of the island piece. So I placed the shelves in between those and it was kind of like the right color. I don't know if it's exactly the right color, but it's pretty close. So I love that. That was very cute. It's my first time doing that. Um, I tried it before, but it wasn't like right. And then I'm trying to work on a living room space. And don't worry, for a while, for a while, I, I swear, I talk too much. Like sometimes like one hard part about doing these long voiceovers is like using my words correctly. Like I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. But basically for a while, I don't have a bed because... I don't know, I was kind of thinking like, what if I just add a little bump out? Like they don't have to be the same size, right? Or I guess my first thought was like, oh, I'll give them a swimming pool in the back. They could sleep in there. But then my thought was like, well, what if they don't sleep fast enough? Like what if it was like very slow? So I ended up putting like a single bed in the living room to replace the couch. So they could either sit on the chair and watch TV or they could like relax in the bed to watch TV. So... There is that, but in their backyard, I gave them like a pool, a grill, lounge chairs, a picnic table, all that nice stuff. Um, it was pretty cool. I also gave them like a desk in the hallway. And when I was like seeing, I didn't like fully play test. Like I didn't make sure like every single kitchen works because honestly, they should work. I'm so sorry, but they should work. Um, but I made sure like they could get past certain objects because I felt like it was a little tight in these places since they're so small. And she walked past the desk and I did make sure she could like walk past it again. She did. So then I had her relax in the bed. She did that. But guess what? She couldn't walk past the desk. That is so weird. That doesn't even make any sense. So I all placed it into the wall a little bit. But yeah, I don't understand how you walk past it and then you walked past it again. And then I told you to like relax on the bed. So you walk past it again. But then when you're relaxing in the bed, all of a sudden you can't walk past the desk. How does that work? And I decided that they have a dog. So I gave them like um, a pet, um, a pet bowl and toys, I guess. 
Um, but yeah, I just don't understand. That makes no sense to me. How you can walk past it at first, but then you can't. Anyways, that's so annoying. And then I gave them like photo collages. I gave them like a pride flag. I gave them some shelves. Um, the shelves aren't all cluttered. Um, they can walk past it, but I think they'll choose to go like around instead of through like on the side with the bar stools. Um, and also if, like someone's sitting there, then obviously they can't get past that way, but they can walk around, of course. Um, so that's simple. That is nice. Um, anyways, I just didn't know what to do on a lot of these blank walls. And I feel like when I start off with like the plant sim house, just trust the process. Again, it's not my favorite, so like, I don't like it, honestly. <laughs> but, um, I tried to put like plants in there. And they just didn't look so good. So that's the part where I'm like kind of embarrassed. But we're working on the pool area. I honestly don't like the white part showing past the fence. Also, is there a way to like delete the pool trim? Like what if I just don't want one? Because I feel like with a fountain you can get rid of the pool. Or, 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 or no, it doesn't come with the trim at all. Unless you choose to have one. So like... Does the pool really need a trim? Can we like not have one? Cause I don't want it on the other side of the fence because it pokes through and it really bothers me. But yeah, next up we should be working on the ghost place. I also wasn't planning to give them like a backyard, but I was like, why not? So I put like the tarot card thingy there and I gave them like a table and I may have put the decks there. Or maybe I didn't. I think I just left them inside. I'm so unsure. But I think they have like the biggest bathroom out of everyone. And that's pretty cool. But like there's this tarot card thingy which is like just decoration. Um, So like it's this tent thingy. It's so cute. I kind of wish it was functional. And I did watch Little Simsy's tarot card video and... It's good to see you can make money from it, especially if you get the more expensive deck. Um, so that is nice. Um, also from Debug, I did see you can like actually look at the cards. So I think that's nice as well. Obviously they don't go on the wall, they just lay down. But like if you wanted to play some of those cards um, on a table, you could. To decorate, they're just in Debug. Um, but yeah, like I wish there was like this kind of like rug object or something. And you could like bring it with you, of course, to like maybe a public lot. And if you place it down, maybe you could like just sit there and like, I guess, offer people readings for money. And obviously if they wanted to join, they would sit down with you. I think that could be like a very cozy blanket. I wish they would have done that. It would have been way cooler than just, I'm pretty sure like the readings are fast. Like they're literally done in a snap. So maybe it's, it didn't need that, but like it would be so cute. I wish, wish, I really wish that was the case, but it's fine. And then yeah, I use like this reddish color because um, I haven't used that with this life and death stuff yet. Um, so it was kind of nice to use it. Um, it's cute. It's fine. It's beautiful, um, I guess. And we should be wrapping this up pretty soon. Um, I just get like some bathroom clutter. I don't get that much. I don't think I get like the soap dispenser. I kind of forgot to be honest with you. And I'm just now noticing like, oh, I didn't put any of that stuff. Also, when I give you the tour for the vampires um, place, I will say I did not really put much clutter into the bathroom because again, it's not my favorite. I was very out of my comfort zone so I feel like I was trying to get out of there fast so there's only like a hand towel in the bathroom and that's it I did put a mirror of course but yeah like there's no other clutter so hopefully that's okay um oopsies um but that's fine it's okay it's cool it's not that serious um and in the mermaid's place and in the ghost place Oh, that was my phone. I'm so sorry. I don't know if you heard it or not, but I didn't do the front landscaping until the end. So don't worry. It's fine. But this is the beautiful tarot card place decorative thingy that I was talking about. And 
yeah also this video is a little bit faster than my other ones um yesterday's video was sped up by 6.2 this one is sped up by 6.5 um just because again this took six hours i honestly could have like probably cut out the plant sims place but it's fine i only have like nine more minutes to talk so it will be okay um, so obviously they basically live in a greenhouse, so I raised up these planks from Cottage Living to put the lights on. And at one point I decided to delete the flooring because I thought maybe I could add terrain paint. But then I was trying to like place flooring in there without the flooring on. And it created this weird shadow glitch. And I don't even know if it's shadow because like when I placed it like some of the flooring like turned into a black void. It was weird but you'll see that kind of later in this part of the build. Um, but I used like that beautiful plant wallpaper from Lovestruck. Or not Lovestruck. Is it from Lovestruck? Maybe. I think it is actually. I don't know why. I guess because I feel like a plant wallpaper is kind of weird. Like why would that come in there in that pack? But it is cute so I'm happy we have it. Um, I hope you get more things like this, um, but it's so cute. I really wish plant sims were better. Also, speaking of things being better, can we talk about how aliens and mermaids suck? I don't know. I feel like there was this survey um, about like what kind of pack would you want or something. And one of them was like, I think living underwater. Um, doesn't that sound beautiful for mermaids? I'm just saying, like, obviously Ghost or our base game, and they're not going to make another pack for mermaids. I don't think they would do that. Like, that would be weird. Like, I guess they could make that pack. Well, no, it would still be weird because, like, the mermaids really wouldn't have much change. I feel like they would be good if they have, like, a skill tree like the other occults. Um, aliens don't have a skill tree either, but yeah, they just- aliens, mermaids, they suck. I really wish better for them, but like obviously if EA doesn't see money in it, it's probably not going to happen. The refresh we want is not going to happen. But this is the part where I want you to ignore what I'm doing. I thought it would be cool, but like again, it's indoors. So like that's, it's like enclosed inside a building. So like obviously some of the plants have like a different coloring when they're indoors. Um, these type of plants and this is the shadow glitch I was talking about it was so weird but yeah I just I don't know what I was thinking so I feel like if it was open I would have liked it better and I actually made a lot of like plant sims home on my youtube channel I think I made three in total this might be the fourth one but yeah um those are way better than this so yeah if you want to check those out trust me they are way better I made like a tiny home I made like, I guess like a little cottage. All of them were probably built in cottage living because it fits the vibes. But yeah, um, it was very nice to build that tiny home. It was very beautiful. I put their shower outdoors, which I thought was nice. It was just, it was very cute. And the other one, I think it was kind of like in the basement. And then there was like a greenhouse, um, obviously on the first floor. And I thought that was cute. Um, but yeah, anyways, I gave them a TV. I don't really like this part at all. It's really bad how much I hate watching this. Like, what if I cut it here and was like, hey everyone, just let me give you the tour. Would you hate that? I mean, I don't know. It's only six more minutes. We should fight through it. I suppose, I guess, I don't know. Anyways, um, anyways, I think I should probably be working on the back pretty soon because I don't know. I like the back actually. I love the backyard, hate the inside. So that's kind of the deal. And at first, in the beginning, you probably saw me have like two stories. I was kind of thinking like maybe the mermaid lives on top or maybe the mermaid lives on the bottom. I don't know which way I thought, but like I was thinking like they could um be a part of each other because obviously with residential rentals you're only allowed to have six apartments um you can type in a cheat to like make it more but i feel like i don't want to like break anyone's game i know like for rent is kind of very buggy and i don't want to be the cause of that issue so like i'm not going to upload it as a residential rental um if you want it to be one you could like change it yourself 
but yeah i think it's easier that way too because like if you don't have for rent then you can easily place the slot because if you don't have it then you can't get it um because you have to change the lot to be a residential rental first before you place it which is honestly so annoying but it is what it is um and speaking of residential rentals like I don't know, like, them being able to, like, let us make our own apartments makes me feel like they should be able to let us have multifunctional lots. Um, what I mean by that is, like, a function where I could have a gym, a cafe, and a library, and a park, and I don't know what else, a retail store. And I would love to, the ability to live, like, on a lot where you own a store, because, like, you could live on top of your restaurant if you wanted to. Or your vet that would be amazing but yeah I just love the idea of that but I really wish they would like fix for rent and like all the like um, corruption issues because that is so scary like losing losing your save due to that oh my gosh this game needs fixing because if I lose my save to that I will cry like I started over too many times too many times especially since I had to switch from PS4 to PC um but yeah it's just I really wish they would fix all those issues um um I don't know like just fix them please it's been so long it's gonna be a year almost since like that pack came out but yeah, I think we are done at this point with the greenhouse. So I'm just adding in some mats to each place. And I should probably be fixing the landscaping for this place. So I put like pink flowers. And then for the mermaid side, I put like these beautiful blue flowers from the romantic garden pack. I thought that was very cute. Um, But yeah, it was very beautiful. And then I got some landscaping out in the front as well. I put like some landscaping on the side so I put like some palm trees and then I got other trees to like match the growing together world. I will say I tried to build this in Moonwood Mill but then I was just like I don't know because I was trying to like kind of build them like they were their own house but I was kind of very unsure so I was like maybe I don't want to do that. Maybe I'll just put them in a row and it will be fine um, but yeah this is coming to an end. Um, I don't know if you, I mean, I'm pretty sure you do want it to end because like it's basically going to be like 50 minutes long. It's a very long video. I'm so sorry. I don't really post that many long videos. So I guess I would say that's probably a good thing. I mean, it depends. Like sometimes videos can be way too long, but sometimes I want a long video, you know? Like I feel like an hour plus video is something you do once in a while and not something you do all the time. Like, I don't mind a 50 minute video either, but like if it's an hour and 30 minutes, 40 minutes, I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't. Like, I feel like I'm gonna fall asleep at this point, honestly. But yeah, the video is coming to an end. I probably get like some terrain paint. I put like mailbox. Um, There is a mailbox in front of the werewolves place just because they have a matching one and I thought it looked good. But then I got the one from Ferent, which shows only six, but it's fine. Um, I would love to make a bigger apartment place, but I don't know if I'm in the position to do another big build. I don't know if I want to do that yet. Um, but right now I'm just filling up the landscaping with these flat pieces so they don't look so empty, I guess. I love the full look of it. Um... But we should be wrapping this up. We're just doing a lot more landscaping, of course. Um, all the necessary stuff. I get like a trash can um, to the side of the Solani, pit, Solani place, the mermaid's place. And then I got a dumpster behind the werewolf's place. So that was nice. And yeah, I also got these little bits of flowers from, I think, the outdoor retreat pack. Also, I don't think I ever really explored that pack. I don't think I ever went on vacation there. That's kind of embarrassing um, to admit since I do have the pack, but I also never played the Jungle Adventure either. So like, I feel like I need to make a move on that. But yes, we're finally getting to the last touches of this build. So I think I'm gonna hop into game and give you guys a tour. So here is the lot. I actually built it backwards because 
the lighting on this side is very much better but i guess we'll start with this side for the werewolves so in the front we have their mailbox there's a warning sign and then there's like a trash can we have some muddy paws and then when you walk in it's pretty much what you would expect for a werewolf um some pretty trashy furniture i guess they have like a broken tv on top of this desk and then there's a very small kitchen and then this is the bathroom so they have a bathtub a stain a disgusting stain i guess i didn't add any clutter to this one either but it's fine i used this sink from laundry day um i probably should have got a wooden toilet from debug the one you can like woodwork but and then there's like this window with a hole in it but i covered it up with this cool blind this is their bedroom so they have some workout equipment they have their single bed they have this mirror and then they have a nice little desk setup honestly i would probably just lock them out here if they rampage you probably don't want them to mess up your furniture but like it's not like it's nice so i guess it's fine if they mess it up um but when you walk outside we have like this bonfire we have a nice telescope i love the colors that i went for um we have some gardening pots the wood working table this thingy a grill in the bush i did test this out and it works and i kind of did move this at the end and it does work and also my sim caused a fire i don't know if you can kind of see that but moving on to the spell caster side they have these beautiful bug lights so i went for the color purple um so this is their kitchen space they can chop up on this counter this is like their living room space they have keys to get to the realm of magic place and then over here is their little desk area they have this beautiful crystal thingy they have a book a broom and then this is like their small tiny little bathroom okay this is called a zoomer this is called a broom but they have those hanging up they have a nice little mirror and a beautiful side table and then when they walk out they have the crystal tree and they also have this cauldron that's what it's called okay and then to the part where i don't really like it so this is the vampire's place i put like some graveyards in the front and i basically put Put, like a no dog sign basically to say like werewolves stay away but once you walk in there's like a mirror on your left on your right there's a picture and a radiator they also have like a trash can and they actually just have a counter some books and a fridge because they don't need food they're more thirsty than ever i gave them the pipe organ and then over here is their living room so they have like a little urn they have a bookshelf they have their casket and another radiator and then this is their bathroom so yeah it's pretty empty but i think it's fun it's cute i don't know i don't know if i like it i feel like i just i don't know it's fine right and then this is the place for the plant sim i guess if you play in this part it's a little bit hard to see because all of these wooden planks are in your way but if i wanted to place it up here oh so like that was the problem when i was trying to place it at this level when i actually place it like it disappears and like it clips so that was the issue but yeah when you walk in you have like this planter box and then over here you have like some more clutter i guess i was taking a video that's embarrassing but then over here we have like a couch we have our music and our frame tv um it's really hard to tour this place because of the planks like oh my gosh me being zoomed in does not make it disappear but we have like a dresser and a mirror this is their bed area pretty cute i guess like it's good for what it is and then they have their backyard place i really love this stone from the castle estate kit that is so cute um but all of this is beautiful they have like some seed packets and that's pretty much it for their place and then next up we have the alien spot and this is what it looks like at nighttime if you're curious but in the front i just have like a bird bath i have baby yoda when you walk in there's like this mirror we have like this calendar and a camera they have their very fancy kitchen they have a nice tv and then this is just like their seating area with some books they have some files then they have this very rare photo and then this is the bathroom which is just like a toilet and a shower and then over here they have like a sink and a bookshelf these are their friends um and then there's like this dead space squid so that's unfortunate this is their weird experiment this is the bed area with the collectibles and then over here we have like the chemistry lab and the computer setup and then this is their backyard so there's some weird goo spilling i guess um but i put like two satellites i put this weird weird space plant and then over here we have like the wormhole generator and then this is like the ufo 
and then they have like some creepy plants back here and then we move on to the ghost place so once you walk in it's pretty nice they don't have a tv but that is okay they have like a nice little dining room a couch and then they have like their cute kitchen i love it love the color i went for and then over here they have a picture of their loved one who they haven't found yet as a ghost maybe they're missing who knows maybe they moved on they have their urn and then over here is their beautiful bedroom again i love the colors i think this is really cute i gave them this cute little mushroom this is their tarot cards and then over here this is their long bathroom which is cute it's pretty nice and then we have the mermaid's place so this is where i put the mailbox and we also put the trash cans over here but when you walk in you walk into the kitchen basically and this is the part i love with the shelves that is so beautiful i love it honestly i just think it's such a cute idea in case you want to place your stove in the middle but on the other side i just have photo collages and a pride flag and then this way you have your desk area pretty cute and then this is the bathroom so i did give you like a window and i did check to see if all of this works and it does but they have a nice fancy tv they have the coffee bowl they have their bed and a chair and a fan and then when you walk outside there's like a grill area they have a nice little pool they have their lounge chairs and it's pic in a picnic spot and also the ghost has like their own backyard it does suck that they have to walk around but i guess that's okay but i think this is cute this is where they read the tarot cards to other people and then i have the dumpster back here and then that is the full build here is a top down view if you're curious i actually think i changed my rankings so i think the mermaid one is actually my first favorite and then the ghost one is second place and then third place mm, this is hard see here's the thing with me i really love the side guard of the werewolf side but do i really like the indoors it's a little it's a little musty in there so it's hard for me to be like i like this um do i okay first second third fourth fifth i don't know i can't rank anymore but i guess i should upload this to the gallery i do have to turn the lot which kind of causes issues hopefully it doesn't delete anything it tends to like delete the fence so that's like the part where i find it pretty much annoying okay so yeah it deleted the fences okay oh and then it deleted the side one as well that should be all good now but i guess i should go ahead and upload it for you so i just called it a cult residence so it is worth a lot of money but i'm gonna upload it to the gallery but if you want to download it my gallery id is just sims delicious and of course i used about everything i guess we should be used to this i think i'm gonna leave the video off here um i'm gonna leave it off at the werewolf's home but if you enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe i love you you are important and i will see you guys tomorrow bye